Welcome everybody to our Wow Wednesday testimonial call. I am Tammy Ward. I'm going to be your host and Tamara Smith is here tonight. She's going to be our my co-host. This, this testimonial call is designed for you to bring your interested ones that want to learn about our products. Um, our scanner and all the different products that we have. Anything is you can speak about anything on this call if you have a testimonial we want to share testimonials and then we want to have our interested ones learn about what these products are all doing for each one of us Tamara, would you like to say anything um just happy to assist when i can and i've been doing uh, these wednesday night calls for at the beginning of February was a year for me. So yeah, I've well, learned a lot. So always excited to be on and hear what everybody's got going on. Yeah, me too. We always learn something new. So it's a, it's a great time to be together and just talk about these products that we love so much and the company that we love so much. And it is just going crazy. All right, I'm gonna share the disclaimer, the AO technology or any of our products have not been approved by the FDA. Everything that we share here tonight has not been evaluated by the FDA, and if you, it's not meant to, to treat, to diagnose, to mitigate any type of disease, any of these products, um, and we are just here just sharing what they're about, and if you are sick, please go consult with your healthcare provider. All right, I'm going to stop the share of the screen so I can see everybody's beautiful faces, and without further ado, if there's something you would like to share, just unmute yourself or hold your hand up. I'll call on you, whatever you feel comfortable with. You don't have to have your screen on, but if you would like to, I'd love to see your faces. Um, so go ahead if there's anybody that would like to share anything. I got a praise report. I wanna hear it. I've been watching your post. So <clears throat> I don't know how to really explain it, but for, I don't know, maybe a decade or so, I've had this cyst in my mouth, at the bottom of my tongue, and it always bothered me, and I would always play around with it, with my tongue or whatever, but three years being really a holistic practitioner, I've used everything underneath the sun, apple cider vinegar, uh, someone's different products, other different products, and this thing has always been there. I've been using blue um, pretty much about maybe three, four weeks after it launched. I got my first bottle and I've been using that. And I think even last week, I checked to see if the cyst was there and I felt it was there. And this week it's gone. Sweet. That's awesome, Gregory. Thank you. That blue is amazing. I I went. I'll I'll just share a little bit. I'll piggyback off of that. One of my really good friends, who's also a QLA, I went on Monday to have ozone sauna, and she thought she was feeling better, but she ended up being really really sick after our after me being there. And I thought, oh gosh, she goes, Tammy, I hope I don't get you sick. I'm like, it's okay. I got all the tools. So I started, I came home and I immediately did blue. I gargled it in my mouth. Um, and whatever she's got, she, some other people around her have gotten sick too. So I, I have not gotten sick. Scott has not gotten sick and we were both there. So I think that probably the blue is one of those things that if you feel like you're coming down with something, or maybe you want to protect yourself from something that'd be the one thing that I would tell everybody to do is just do some blue go right ahead Carolyn okay well um I watch videos that Dr. Berg makes and they're on on there on YouTube so the other day he had a video that was for about cancer mm -hmm. and he was talking about methylene blue and red light therapy and I put it on the Facebook page but I don't think Solex allowed it because I thought that I just, it's, it's validating us. It's validating what we're doing. Here is somebody that's a well-known chiropractor, nutritionist, and he's saying that uh, blue and red light therapy, he actually said it, it, it helps cancer. 
Yeah. He just came out and said it, which I don't think we can do anything like that. He gets in a lot of trouble, but that's anyway, that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we kind of want to hold back from saying any of those things, but you know. Oops, who is this doctor, Tammy? Dr. Carolyn, who is the doctor? Dr. Berg, B E R G, and he has a ton of videos on YouTube. And this one was on cancer and how blue, methylene blue, and um, red light therapy helps the mitochondria and that cancer actually starts in the mitochondria, according to him. And he does a lot of research, so I'm sure he's got it all backed up, but it validates what we do. Yeah. I think that's awesome. If if you happen to have that video, share it in our team chat. Oh, okay. I'll find it. Yeah. Um, oh, in the team chat. Okay. I put it on the Solex. I tried to put it on the Solex, but I oh, sure I'll do that, Tammy. Yeah, put it in the team chat and then I'll put it in the group and I'll I'll okay. you know, tag you. I'm, I'm, I'm about to drop it in the um in, in the Zoom chat right oh, now. Oh sweet. Thank you, Dr. Oh, okay. Daryl. You got it, Dr. Daryl. Oh, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome thank you yeah oh Tamara are you got something to say or is your kid <laughs> kids are just going nope hi Cynthia so glad to have you all right anybody else want to share anything drinking warm water before bed gets rid of wrinkles almost overnight did you know that wrinkles <laughs> all right anybody else want to share anything any testimonials on any of the products tammy tell us about your thermography adventures oh gosh <laughs> well big yeah. things happening big things happening <laughs> I did sign a lease on a office space and it's in a very bougie, very bougie part of Oklahoma City. It's called Nichols Hills. If anybody knows anything about Nichols Hills in Oklahoma City, they're multi-million dollar homes. But that's not why I chose it. Uh, I was actually thumbing through leased, leasing spaces and I came across this building and it looks like, you know how they've got a lot of these buildings that look like big homes, but they're actually medical, medical buildings. Well, this one I found, it said wellness company on the outside of it. And I thought, I told Scott, I said, something about that just resonates. I probably need to go check this place out. And so on the way home from a mix and mingle, we drove by this, this building and lo and behold, there was a sign out front of a chiropractor that my dentist keeps telling me I need to go visit. And I'm like, okay, this is a sign. So we stopped, we walked in, it was their lunchtime. She actually said, I'm so sorry, we're closed. Is there something I can help you with? I said, well, I actually came by to look at your office spaces that you have for lease. She goes, well, I have a property manager. I'll give him your card. He can contact you. And I kind of told her the story that my, my dentist had been telling me to come see her. And I said, I need to kind of come make an appointment with you. And I told her what my issues were. She goes, oh, I can help you. I went, okay, I'm going to trust you. I said, I got lots of PTSD with chiropractors. So anyway, her name is Alicia Young. And the company, her, her chiropractic business is called Young Life Chiropractic. So you guys are going to make me cry. And I hope, I hope that you guys can follow me. I hate, I hate to do this, but I, I feel like it needs to be told since somebody asked me, but it's pretty exciting. Um, anyway, so a couple of days have gone by and I, I got with him. We went and looked at the office space and he had some upstairs spaces, but we had to go up a stairwell. And I thought, I don't think that that's going to be ideal for me, especially because if you get people that have some mobility issues, going up stairwell is not going to be that ideal. And then I was thinking, you know, heat rises, so it's going to be hard to control the warmth or the coolness in that room. So I said, do you have anything downstairs? So he showed me some suites downstairs. And of course, these have got one of them, a couple of them got sinks and cabinets in them, but they're just really small, quaint little suites. And I said, I think I like this one really well. 
So anyway, I, I went ahead and told him, I, I think I want it. I had to put a thousand dollar deposit down and I signed the lease this morning. But in that the property manager actually sent me something and it had his last name. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to just look him up on Facebook. His name's Justin Quigley. So I looked him up. Sure enough, I was scrolling. I was, I was kind of stalking his Facebook in a way just to kind of get a feel of who he was. Well, he's actually the boyfriend to the chiropractor. And I'm looking through these pictures and lo and behold, I see a picture of my old chiropractor that I had when I was pregnant with Tristan, which was 27 years ago. If you guys know the story, and if you don't, I'll just tell you real quickly. When Tristan, when I was pregnant with Tristan, I asked for a VBAC. So that's a vaginal birth after a cesarean. He's my second child. I went in on December 18th. I did not have him until December 24th. So this, I'm Ooh. just going to tell you a little bit. This is why I'm so passionate about holistic health. When they pulled him out, they tried to pull him out with a vacuum extractor that failed. Then they used the forceps at such a degree that she, the doctor tore me up on the inside. I had to be surgically repaired after the birth of Tristan. But when they pulled him out, he was not breathing and he, he was not crying. And it, four minutes went by before we heard him cry. They intubated him, they resuscitated him, they, they took him off to the NICU. He was a nine pound, one ounce baby boy, perfectly healthy. There was nothing wrong with him. However, I oh, think whatever you. she did to him caused a lot of the paralyzation that he had on his right side. He, oh, had, yeah. he had some large hematomas um, and he, he was just in a bad way, very much in a bad way. I couldn't even breastfeed him because he couldn't suck. My chiropractor, Tim Young, found out about all this and he called my mother and he said, I want you to tell Tammy to please bring that child by to me as soon as they get out of the hospital. I want to give him an adjustment. We went and saw him after we got Tristan out of the hospital. Tristan, Tristan actually lost down to 5.2 pounds because he couldn't suck because he was paralyzed on the left side from this birth trauma. They immediately put him on phenobarbital. They said he was having seizures, which I don't believe to this day. I think that they were just trying to cover up what was going on, what she did to him. And we did try to try to get an attorney to look at it, but they said, you'll, you'll lose this fight. There's just, she's got too strong of a case. And I'm like, well, it's probably because we went the alternative route. We didn't stick with the doctor route. Anyway, this Dr. Tim Young dropped everything he had every all of his clients for the rest of the day to escort us from south side oklahoma city all the way to the north side of oklahoma city to a chiropractor called dr bobby dosher who does uh oklahaven children's chiropractic she specifically deals with birth traumas vaccination damage things like that she took one look at tristan she says i can help him and he Dr. Tim Young said, I wanted to adjust him, but I was too afraid to because he was so young into his practice. He said, but I knew exactly who could help him. So we, we, we ended up spending three days a week at her clinic. I exhausted all of my savings to help my son. And we would spend, you know, the entire day at her clinic and she would treat him upwards to three times a day. After six months, the paralyzation was gone. After a year, you couldn't even tell that there was anything wrong with Tristan. Now, he still struggles a little bit with asthma, but he's my only child that never did. I never did give any vaccines to. Dr. Tim Young's daughter is Alicia Young, and I found that out today. And Holy he shit. doesn't even know the story yet. And I'm like, okay this is what i'm supposed to be doing it is obviously divinely appointed that i be in this spot on this side of town and i i was just bawling all this morning i'm like god scott can you even imagine that we're right here in this spot today <laughs> so i cannot wait to tell her that your dad had a hand in saving my child's life and this is what has really 
created my love for holistic health and wanting to help so many people. So there you go. You guys heard it first. You're the first ones that have heard it. <laughs> that's that's a God wink, Tammy. That's the Very actual much. God wink. Very much. Very much. So I'm really, we, we all, I'll be able to move in um, February 20th. So 220 of 24, my sweet number is 102. So there's, there's a lot of, a lot of things there. So anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. It, that it is, is the best story I've <laughs> ever heard. I, I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to help. I've already got several people lined up to actually do thermography for they, they're, because of these mix and mingles I'm doing, you guys, this is one of the ways that you can build your network up, get into the community, tell people what you have, show them what you have, because there are people that need us out there. So, so get out there in your communities. And this works for breast cancer. Well, we don't want to say that, but it, it, thermography will actually, you know, detect the heat patterns in the body, which also reveals the physiological parts of anything that's underlying. So if there is, you know, tumors or venous insufficiencies or things that may not just quite make sense, the doctor that reads these scans has been doing this for going on his 40 years now. His name's Dr. Gregory Melvin. Um, he's out of California and he's the one that create, he actually helped Solex to create our camera. Um, and ours is our our company is the only company that does prostate screening for men with thermography. So this is huge, guys. It's really it's really big. I'm really excited about it. And the closest hospital to treat the patient uh, within just a couple of miles, really. And they they will work with you on on the holistic side, the holistic uh, practice. I don't know yet. We'll see. Time will tell that we there is a thermography lady that's here in in my hometown um, and Dr. Uh, Young at this chiropractic. She goes, I love thermography. We need somebody like you. She goes, I in fact, I refer everybody out to somebody in Yukon. And so we looked her up and that's a whole different company, but she's only there on Mondays. And she only takes appointments one day a week. And then she says, if you want appointments any other days, you'll have to, you know, call me and let me know. But they, uh, that there's only a handful in Oklahoma. So, and I don't know who all they are. I just, I know I'm ready to be out there. Go right ahead, Carolyn. Well, thermog thermography is just wonderful. I used to have to get a Valium to get my mammograms done. The doctor would have given me one Valium. Yeah. But anyway, ma uh, thermograms are wonderful. Uh, an, um, a radiologist looks at them. So it's not just the, Tammy's going to be taking pictures, but the radiologist will look at them. So I feel it is very safe. And I'm in Nebraska. And I said, isn't there one closer? I don't want to have to drive an hour. And she's, there's one in Omaha. And she said, you'll have to drive to Denver. Yeah. That's yeah. the closest. They're few and, and far between. What? Yeah, they're, they're just not, cool. they're not, and the one I go to is only an hour for me, and they come out of Omaha, but they're only there one, one day a week, or one oh. day a month. Wow. Carolyn, there's, there's one in Overland Park, Kansas, just south of Kansas City. Okay. I don't want to drive that far. <laughs> I can't, I'm only having to drive an hour. I was complaining about the hour drive, and she said, well, you've got your choices, Denver or Omaha, and now Kansas City. Wow. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, my plan is to get out there and teach more about it. So I think yeah. I think we need to get the word out there, but just be very, you know, very mindful. All right. Any anybody else have anything they share want to share? Testimonials, anything happening that you want to share? My plan is to go to pets and people tomorrow too, by the way. I was supposed to go on the twelfth, but things have just I'm still I'm still broadcasting frequencies to that pet rescue. So I'll I'll update date everybody next week. I'm not sure about that, Lauren. Lauren's got a question. Is it true it's only calcifications that thermography cannot pick up? I do not know. 
I, that is something I'll be learning. Dr. Melvin is such a great educator, so I'm looking forward to seeing his reports and learning a little bit more. I actually have some books on order too. All right, anybody, anybody like to share anything? I have a fun little um, bar trick. <laughs> Uh, we we went to go see a, a concert uh, last Saturday, and I have a friend that was with us, and she gets these strep staph infections on her fingers where she gets these little bubbles and breaks out. Uh, well, I didn't bring my scanner with me, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just get on my phone. And I got out, and I did the erase button um, on her finger. She had two different spots and did the erase button, I think, three times on each and then took her drink that she was drinking and imprinted homeopathic for uh, staff. I don't even remember what I looked up at the time. And I saw her today and asked her, um, how did things go? And she's like, oh, they were fine the next day. Like she, she even noticed that night. Um, it wasn't itching, it wasn't doing anything, but then I saw her and she's like, yeah, they were, they were gone. She goes, but now I got it on my tongue. Obviously she's got way more to address, right? um yeah. baby steps um but she she is my one uh friend that comes like hey come fix this and hey can you do a scan for this can you do a scan for that but I thought that was a fun little you know out about we're listening to a band and she's like here's my finger fix it yeah that's <laughs> awesome love that all right anybody else No testimonies. Come on, I know y'all are using your scanner every day. <laughs> Running Cephes on anybody? Come on, Cephe King. I know you got something. <laughs> I'm doing a Cephe group right now. Nice. Uh, um, and I'm focusing, I had found a printout on the meridians, um, the emotional and physical per each meridian. So um, I started with a chakra balancing was the first day. And then I started going through the meridians and, you know, some of the, on the list has more than 15 on it. Um, so I just sit with intention and check in and do a muscle testing on whoever's in, you know, who's in that group today, what needs to come up for the spleen meridian, what needs to come up for the heart meridian. And uh, so far, it's been kind of fun. Um, no uh, crazy reports. Everybody is enjoying. And then I just give a little little tidbit of information. I'm a massage therapist and went to a, a Chinese uh, medicine school when I was in massage therapy. Um, so I know a little bit about meridians and stuff like that. So I just give them little tidbits um, along with the you know muscle testing for which... Um, quantum frequency or quantum reach or whatever anxiety um uh, some of the uh, emotions that come up the only thing that's not on that list is every once in a while I'll kind of place one out for one of the um flowers yeah so that's been fun sweet we'll see. uh and i'm doing 25 days because i'm fitting it in between my um my vacation so instead of doing my normal 21 i think i'm doing 25 yeah 25 days of frequencies and not sure Obviously, there's not 25 meridians. Uh, how I'm going to play out, maybe just restart over. We'll just kind of see how everybody's feeling and go from there. So Sweet. get some feedback. So that's I love fun. that. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing. All right. Anybody else? I, I got one. My wife hooked me up with one. Somebody oh, reached out to her. Uh, let's see. I want to thank you for putting yourself out there. This was the first time I ever tried a Cephe group and I have regular bowel movements now. They did our full moon detox and our regular detox group. Um, it goes along to say, I wish I would have known about you before I would have signed up under you instead of somebody else. And then she said, also with the full moon detox, my digestive system is continuing to improve. 
And I want to thank you for all the educational material that you provided in your CEFI groups. So I thought that was a, a pretty good uh, little testimonial. Yeah. What CEFI playlists can do for anybody, really. Yep. Well, with that being said, I'm also in Dave and Becky's Money Blocks group. So you can see what's happening in my life. <laughs> I'm sure that that has a little bit to do with it too. Of course, I sure am manifesting a whole lot. <laughs> like, Lord, just show me where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm grateful. Anybody else like to share anything? I have a question. Sure. When you're in the CEPI group and you do like a uh, weight management and you're you're erasing and everything and all of a sudden you look up to start imprinting and it has a different thing than what you put in there is it supposed to do that or am i getting a fluke <laughs> maybe a fluke i don't because i don't understand yeah. what, you, what you're seeing or what you're doing yeah so I would, like I when would i say you got fat fingers <laughs> i have them all the time that's what i would say you you want this one oh. and you accidentally hit the next one no I, I put in weight loss and I hit my erase button. It starts erasing and I go to hit my imprint button and up there at the top where it says the weight control or weight management, it's on something completely different like diabetes or something like that. I, I would say you need to erase before you pick your category okay. and then pick your category. Yeah. All righty, that's what I was wanting to know. Thank you very much. Yeah. Or just go with it because it might be the universe going, this is what you need. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I was wondering if, if that's what they were trying to tell me, that <laughs> this is what you need, not that. <laughs> you never know. I mean, I have so, stuff like that all the time happen. I'm like, I know I chose that. Now what? Okay, just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you guys very much you are welcome anybody else like to share anything this is a great call tammy what's coming up with solex can you sh share anything i don't know anything honestly they don't tell us anything i have my my hunch is you know because we had this big update it's 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 very notorious of them when they do these big updates and we and you saw that we had a great one with the cephi list and how it's organized a little different it's my hunch that we're getting some more modules underneath the cephi um and i'm really hopeful that we get that hub that they talked about at september day of discovery and I think that the hub has something to do with the Cephi module. So that's about all I know. I know that something big's coming, but I don't know much of much of anything, honestly. I'm, okay, I'm so the day of discovery, we sign up for that and we can watch all of the videos that's, that's going on. Yep. Are they gonna let us save those to our computer so we can watch them six months from now? Not unless you have a trick to do that. I don't think so. No, they're only opening it up that for a week. Um, you've got, I think, what, the 6th through the 12th to watch it. Um, I mean, if you can if you can figure out a way to save the videos, then yeah, and you can watch them later. Or they may, they may put it in our university. I don't know. I mean, they did do that one year. So I say watch as much as you can. But it's, it's supposed to only be about eight hours of content. All right. Anybody else? I have a question. Sure. So I don't recall, uh, and maybe this happened when I was out of the room preparing for my little talk, but I don't recall any mention of um, of this. Um, what, did you, what, what are you all calling it? A cube? The hub. Hub. I don't recall any mention of this. Can you just remind me what, what was shared? I'm not asking for what you might know that they didn't share, but 
I don't remember anything being spoken about that. Lauren had a box, a little box structure. I mean, I missed a couple of things too because I was either in the bathroom or something. I, I missed the the pink bracelet being released oh, and yeah. the pink glasses. Um, but at, Lauren stood up with this box thing and he said it's the prototype right now and they're trying to get it less than a thousand dollars but it's going to be some sort of plug and play that we put onto our scanner or our devices whatever you have your scanner on but yeah. you're going to be able to use lasers you're going to be able to use i'm thinking it's going to be a lot like what we're doing with the infopathy that some of us are doing now that you say that i remember okay okay <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> and they're, they're calling it the hub i don't you know i think it's kind of like an external like with the big units, we had the Cephi box. It was like mm -hmm. a box that they would put stuff into. Um, but yeah, it's it's something that we're going to be able to use different amplifying things. Yeah. Yeah, lasers are like an amplifier of some sort. Yeah. So there'll be lasers with it, possibly? You know, okay. He really because didn't about... say that, that we were going to have that, but he said that you could use lasers with it. I don't know what that means. Yeah, now that I'm remembering, I, it seems like he said something. It almost seemed like this this unit would be multi-use. Yes. Like you'd be able to use several different things depending on what you had. Yes. Not that it was supposed to be for one thing or another, but you'd be able to use your own attachments or other attachments yes. with this yes. and then connect it to the scanner somehow. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. You remember when they had the uh, chair and had the uh, like the umbrella on me? Yeah. He said that was going to be hooked into the um, oh. the hub along right. with other stuff that they were going to reveal within the next year to 18 months. It was yeah. going to connect to the hub. And then I, I guess there'll be some, I don't know if we can connect our devices to the hub to download stuff, but he, it was just all in the early stages. He didn't really say a lot about the hub, but he did say that the stuff that he was going to release in the next year or so was going to uh, be attached to the hub. So, yeah. yeah, maybe there'll be a plasma tube or something like that. Uh, who, or Bluetooth. Who, who really knows. But, or Bluetooth. Or well, Bluetooth, we've been, right. Yeah, we've been waiting on this plasma type thing because that was in our scanners to begin with. I can't remember the name of that module. Becky, do you remember what the name of I that module I don't remember. But I remember it because I was excited for the plasma tube. <laughs> I know, I was too. And I'm like, well, where did that go? You know, but they took that little module away. And we, we'd all been waiting on it from day one that when we got started with the scanners. But then that, that disappeared. Body systems and some other things came. And I'm like, well, what are they doing with that? So uh, there, there's big things coming. I just, I just feel it. Exciting times for sure. <laughs> well, thanks for jarring my memory. And if memory serves me correctly, when you you weren't in there when they um, e it was either the glasses or the uh, or, or the bracelet, but it was specifically because I think you were one of the first people in line to get something else. Like, yeah, didn't you end up with it anyway, just because you were in there, and so you were like, I don't know what this is, but give it to me. Is yeah. something like that yeah. happen? <laughs> yes and it's so funny because i i remember some time ago that lauren's always like tammy i can't keep anything from you because i'm always watching them on the calls but there was one call that lauren had either a bracelet on or he had the ring on or he had something on his shirt i can't remember but i texted him right after that update call and i said okay what is it that you guys are wearing on your shirt i think it was the Sefi dot and he goes, oh, man, I can't keep anything. <laughs> I can't, can't do, can't keep a secret from you. I'm like, no, because I watch y'all. I watch what y'all are wearing, what, what you got in the scene. So um, get big things, big things coming. Just can't wait. You'll have to Thank be for again. day of discovery. Yep. All right. Anybody else want to share anything? Got a question for you, Tammy, about uh, Day of Discovery in yep. September. Yep. Is it going to be in the same location? Yep. And the same facility? Yep. Okay, so. I know. <laughs> if, 
if we stay where we did last year, we're still relatively close. Yes, most definitely. Okay, so we got a book for where we were last year. Yes. Absolutely. I think that'd be best anyway. Okay. Are they going to take the puppies this time? Mm, I don't know. We just, uh, we don't know what's going to happen in our life <laughs> between now and September. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they're able to stay. I mean, my mom has watched them a couple of times when we went to Arkansas for the thermography training. She was able to watch them. It's just, you know, I don't like to burden her with more than a couple of days. Oh, I want to see the girls. <laughs> oh well i'm not gonna be taking it back to that end that's for sure <laughs> where are you gonna stay i don't know yet we haven't figured that out all right anybody else have any have anything they want to share lauren you said why what what's the story on that what's the story on what can you type in the chat All right. Any, any, the place for DOD. Oh, it's, we had an in, we went to an in last year in September where our whole team kind of uh, stayed at this one in. I found an in and, a, and then a historic house that they're together. I forget the name of it, but um, we all stayed there. So we, we booked out the whole place and then uh, Lauren and Kai and Shelby all came and dropped in a surprise visit uh, of course me and dr sheila kind of planned that out but um it's just so fun when we all get together like we're doing in north carolina because i don't know if y'all are if y'all are aware but we are meeting in north carolina for march day of discovery as a team and there's an end there as well so uh, if you want to come there's still room there's still rooms available i think we've got what seven rooms david seven rooms available um and they're very nice rooms and the the innkeeper and her husband uh she's she's a uh, qla so it's it's a friend of dr sheila's and we did this last year in march and it was incredible and then this time again we're going to do it march uh 6th through the 11th i think but we're only doing it th uh, thursday friday and saturday some of us are coming in a little bit earlier and some of us are staying a little bit later, but you're only we're, our event is the um, Thursday, Friday and Saturday of that week. Um, let me put it, And if you want to come, just let me know and I'll put you in the team chat uh, or the chat for the DOD. And uh, I there's a link in there on how to make reservations at this inn, and it's the um, Echo Mountain Inn in Hendersonville, North Carolina. It's a beautiful old historic inn and we're all going to be there again. So you're welcome to come. And it's, let's see. Let me look at the dates real quick and I'll tell you. It will be the 7th, 8th and 9th of March. And our day of discovery is the 6th through the 11th. 11th i think um so they'll they'll open up the videos on the 6th and then they'll let they'll let us watch until i think the 11th uh, midnight so just let me know if you want to come message me and and we'll get you involved and we'll, we'll we'll have several speakers and we'll watch the day of discovery together and we're going to have some team building um activities david's kind of heading that up where it's actually going to be like solex olympics so we're just going to have a lot of fun you guys and we're we're just opening up to to our team of course to come and if you're a part of this team then you're more than welcome to come all right anybody else gotta ha have any have any testimonials anything you want to share
I'm going to look for a quick video while y'all are thinking. Just unmute yourself if you have something you'd like to share. We've got about 15 more minutes left. Okay, I have an interview I did with somebody. Y'all want to want to see this interview, this testimonial? It's about an animal. Be willing to yeah, watch it. All of animals. Okay, I'll go ahead and share that with you. Can everybody see my YouTube? Yes. Okay. This is Miss Tony Robbins, and we'll just let it go. Can't hear it, Tammy. Mm. You can't hear it at all? Nope. Well, I don't know how to do that then. Maybe it's very faint. You can hear it, but it's very faint. Well, how about I just put it in the chat since you can't hear it, and that'll be something y'all can watch on your own. I was going to do some of these segments for times when nobody really had anything to share, so. Give us the cliff notes, Tammy. What, what was it about? Well, it was so many weeks ago. It was about her dog. One of I think it was actually about the dog that her and her husband talked about at the Mar at the September Day of Discovery. Um, this little dog was was quite a pistol to to get acclimated into their home, and he had some issues come up. And she was able to use the scanner with him, and lo and behold, it just really helped him. So I'll let y'all watch that on your own. But it, the the uh, recording is there in the chat so grab it because it is an unlisted uh link so you'll have to grab it and watch it but anybody that has a link can watch it but it was a pretty good testimonial i was really shocked about it so i'm like i need to interview you on that good afternoon I oh, you can hear it <laughs> i can hear it on yours yeah, no, no, I just I just hit it and I can hear it now. So I'm saving Crazy. it. Yeah, save it and and take a watch of that. She, that was that was incredible what what she did. So and then she's doing some other things too. So she she actually raises Australian sheep dogs, I think is what they raise. Whoa. Um, yeah. Australian and, shepherds. Yeah, shepherds. Um, but they, and they've got a farm, they've got horses, so she's all about animals, and, and she, she's an amazing person. I really do enjoy her. All right, any she's last? The one does, huh? she's, the one, she's the one that does the um, whole acreage so that everybody is under their stands I, and stuff. I think so. I think that's who yeah, that was. She is. She's yeah, she's my upper, so... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I know Tony very well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was it was incredible meeting with her and talking about this. And she talks about a few other things that she does with the animals, but I think you'll enjoy it. All right. Got a few minutes left. You may have a last last thing to share. Any testimonials? Any questions? All right. Well, we will go ahead and close the call then. And we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bring your interested ones. The Solex call is shortly following. 
We appreciate each and every one of you for being here this evening. Um, and just remember next week, just, you know, try to think of some stuff beforehand. I've just been so, so inundated with everything that I'm doing. I'm sure I've got some, I just can't, I just can't bring them to the forefront of my brain right now. So anyway, uh, come back next week. We're doing this every week and, um, thank you again, Tamara, do you want to say any final thoughts? Just, uh, grateful to be a part of this community. Yes. Very much so. All right, guys. Love you guys. We'll Thank see you, you. next Bye. week. Bye. Bye-bye.